Hi, today on International Day for Democracy, I have a special guest here at Oslo Governance Center. It's Mr. Gerd Reil, who is the director of International Consortium of Investigative Journalists, who's been visiting us today to discuss a little bit about the state of journalism in the world. And I thought I'd just ask you, how is that? How is it going? Is it easy to be a journalist today in the world? I think in some regards it's a very good time to be a journalist. You've got um, a golden age of information at the moment in that you've got whistleblowers coming forward with huge data sets. You've got a lot of information that has been forced into the public by governments around the world. So in some respects it's a fantastic time to be a journalist. In other respects it's not so good. I mean there's a lot of regimes that are cracking down on journalism. Um, the business models that are supporting journalism in, in the past at least are all beginning to crumble. Um, it's very difficult to make a living as a journalist. So in some respects, it's the best of times, but it's also the worst of times. So it's a mixed picture, what you're saying? It's very mixed picture mm. at the moment. I mm. think you've got some reporters that are um, under severe pressure to be able to report things that ought to be reported. And what do you think the international community can do about this? And is there anything that we, as the United Nations, can do to improve the you know, working conditions of journalists? I think it's time that you know governments got together and actually legislated and said that you know, freedom of the press is something that's actually important. And I do think that that needs to be um, done at the international level to force um, particularly bad regimes to respect the fact that reporters should be able to report if they see something that's wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay, final question. Uh, why is this important for democracy? Well, it's important for democracy because if you're not actually re able to report corruption in a country, it's going to affect um, people. People are going to get angry and the rule of law is going to break down. So if you do want to have democratic society, you've got to have freedom of the press. Mm. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Good to have you.